All right, guys, so we're out here at the Patreon hunt and we just got finished getting ourselves a bunch of snipe. So we are gonna make some snipe poppers. Dude, that is a big deer. And he didn't even go 30 yards. Oh my God. <laughs> This is the first buck I've ever shot. Woo! What a rush. Money. That deer is dead. Tagged out, baby. You shot one? Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. I saw him go what? down. All right, guys, welcome back. I have a few announcements that I want to make. Uh, first of all, we have a few events coming up in the near future, and we would love to see you guys at those events. Um, in just like a week or two, um, we have the Saddle Hunter Meetup that's being hosted um, by us and um, Wood Hunting Saddles and a bunch of other sponsors. Um, at this event, we're going to be camping out at the Lake George Wildlife Management Area. Um, there's going to be a saddle gear hide and seek. So we're going to hide stuff in the woods. You guys can find it. If you find it, it's yours. Um, we have gear donated from all kinds of big brands. Um, there's going to be catered, awesome barbecue food. Um, we're just going to be hanging out, um, by the campfire. We might be recording a podcast. Um, it's going to be a good time. going to be really chill down to earth kind of, uh, hang out. So hopefully you guys can come out, learn a little bit about saddle hunting. Maybe teach us a little bit about saddle hunting that you've learned over the past years that you've been doing it. Um, we would love to uh, meet you guys. So you can find all the information for that on our Facebook page in the events section. In fact, you can find all of our events in that section in June, no, sorry, July, we are doing, um, together with Backcountry Hunters and Anglers, this is going to be the third annual scouting workshop um, and deer season kickoff party. So basically we meet up and usually a whole bunch of people show up to this. We pair you up with, um, you know, a group of people that want to learn and a few um, experienced Florida hunters that want to teach. Um, we had Ray Martin, um, the guys from uh, uh, Florida Camo, um, just, I can't even think of the names right now, but a whole bunch of uh, great hunters came and basically took people into the woods and showed them what to look for on Florida ground, especially South Florida ground, what kind of sign you're looking for, how to tell the difference between fresh and old sign, um, how to set up on sign, where to put cameras, all that stuff. Any questions that you have about figuring out the woods, um, this is going to be a great opportunity for you to ask those questions to experienced hunters. And then after we come out of the woods, um, we will have a hog, a whole hog roasting, um, uh, probably going to be either barbecue or Cuban style. We don't really know. There's going to be a whole bunch of food um, and you can come hang out, talk with uh, local hunters, um, you know, maybe make a few new hunting friends. It's always been a great event. So hopefully we'll see you guys at that one. Also, if you're subscribed to this channel, good for you. We appreciate the support. If you're not yet, make sure that you do it now. Um, but also, if you want to follow us on some different uh, mediums as well, um, go check us out on Instagram. We also recently started a podcast, um, and you can find that pretty much everywhere that podcasts are available, except for Apple Podcasts right now, but it might be there by the time you see this video. Um, we're still waiting for the approval to get it out on there. But you can find it on Spotify, iHeartRadio, Google, Amazon, all that stuff. And if you want to buy any of our camo, our merch, whatever, go to our website. It's going to be swampandstompllc.com. And if you want to save yourself a little bit of money, you can use the code SNS10 to get 10% off on wood hunting saddles. You can either buy them on our website or on their website. You can also get 10% off on uh, hunt stand by using the code swamp, swamp stomp 10 um, and then you can also get like $20 off on a JX3 hybrid by using the code SNS22. All this information is down in the description, so check it out if you want to save yourself some money. I don't speak Muglish. That's not Muglish, so I'm not You're going to hunt with that short-ass barrel?
Shoot somebody, don't shoot their friends. Yeah. I said it in the beginning of the thing. Don't shoot your friends. Don't shoot your friends. Now, okay, so a um, couple of things. Here's what I'm thinking we'll do. We're going to hit this spot back here that there's a bunch of snipe. So we'll go do that together, and then we might split up after that to like go check out some other fields. Um, but the general rule of the rules of thumb, one, um, try and keep the wind at your back because the birds will fly at you when they get up so you get a better chance of shooting them um two if you hit one watch it hit the ground and do not like take Bless. your do not take your eye off of it do not blink do not pick up your shell don't like you know put another shell in nothing just keep staring at it and walk straight to it and pick it up because it's like it, they're impossible to find if it's a you brown bird and brown grass yeah need it's like it's they're so hard <coughs> to find all right let's shoot the sun Again across here. Yeah, I saw that. Yep. There we go. The first first kill on a Patreon hunt right here. There you go. Did you get him? Coming towards you right there. Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. Yeah. yeah. He's here somewhere, but here he is. He's running. Got him! Got to be some snipe right here. Oh, there goes one. See where he goes. You know, it probably doesn't matter because we're walking back towards. Oh, get that one, John! <laughs> Fuck, he was like right here. I ran out of oh. I Yo, Ronnie, keep your eyes peeled. There's a... Coming at you, coming at you. <laughs> Got him. Got 
Got him. Yeehaw. There should be one right in front of you, dude. I saw him land right there, like 20 feet in front of you. It was like right along the edge. I could see it when I hit it again. It should be laying like... What? Did I really? No. -uh. All right guys, so we're out here at the Patreon hunt and we just got finished getting ourselves a bunch of snipe. So we are gonna make some snipe poppers. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is breast these things out and you really better off not using a giant knife. Um, but if you feel, you can feel the, the breast plate right here and right where it ends, I just like to take a knife and just poke a teeny little hole. And then you just stick your finger into that hole and then you can just break it right open wow. here's the little connection to the wing right at the base cut that and you'll hear that bone crack do that there as well and then you can just peel the skin right off the front of the breast there we go and now we've got this breast meat right here and you can just take a knife and cut right down the sternum and fillet that off. So we just got all these um, breasts out of our birds. We've got some bacon here. We're gonna cut these strips of bacon in half. And this is how we are gonna make these, uh, these poppers. So we're gonna take a little breast. And we're gonna open up this cream cheese here. There we go. Take a little dollop of cream cheese put that on there and then we have some sliced jalapenos or jalapenos jalapenos take one of those plop that right on there and we're gonna wrap this bacon around it just kind of smush it all in there and there is our popper and now we're gonna make a whole bunch of those If you want to try just the breast by itself with some seasoning. What do we got on it? This way you can taste, you know, the meat and how it actually tastes. It's a little Everglades on it. It's got a little bit of Everglades. The poppers are still cooking. But those are good to go. So oh, it's good, right? It's like steak. Real good. Better it yummy. Tastes yeah, bad. it's 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 more like a uh, red meat than yep. yeah, like a steak. Exactly. It's, it's, it's like exactly thick. like dove. But it is like dove, but I think it's tender, more tender. Yeah, than absolutely. It's tender, absolutely. and it doesn't yeah. have as much gamey flavor. Dove has more gamey. It's also cooked perfectly, yeah, really. so it's not chewy yeah. at all. Wow, Damn. It's really good. Yeah. Yeah, I, I meant to do that. I just <laughs> I forgot about them and then flipped them, and then they looked good, and I was like, that's good enough. <laughs> poppers. We want some poppers. Some of them kind of fell apart because we didn't have toothpicks, but um, but other ones look good. This is what you get when you uh, when you don't want to taste the meat. Wait, you missed the bacon, dude. Just shove the whole thing in your mouth, and it might be like lava. You talk. Meat mark. Uh huh. Oh good, right? You know what it tastes like? Bacon, cream cheese, and jalapeno. Yep. <laughs> it's pretty good. It does too. You liked it better just the breast? I liked it better just the breast, yeah. It was really good. I want to see what you it's think like of it. It's steak. You lose it uh -huh. Is mucho that. gusto? Very I don't good. think that I means what I think it does. Yeah. yeah. We have your favorite thing, uh, guacamole. Yeah, man, guacamole. <laughs> All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. And if you've never gone snipe hunting, you should go and do it because they're delicious, right? Yes. Delicioso. Cool. Delicioso. 
And if you want to join us on the next one of these hunts, all you got to do is become a Patreon member. You can do that at patreon.com slash swamp and stomp, or you can just go down in the description. There's going to be a link there. You guys have anything to add? Keep on keeping on. Mm -hmm. Wear your seatbelt. <laughs> Wear your seatbelt, guys. Always. Yeah, OSHA. But especially when you're in a car with, uh, or in a vehicle with Danny.